Good evening. I'm Dr. Jennifer Van Vickel. I'm a diagnostic radiologist. I specialize in the screening and diagnosis of breast cancer. Having done this for 30 years, I'm here to say loudly that the most important thing we can do to improve the quality of health care is to improve access to health care. The most difficult thing I do on any given day is tell a woman that the biopsy I did revealed that she has breast cancer. And after a few minutes of stunned silence, the questions usually begin. Has it spread to other parts of my body? Will I have to lose my breast? They look at their family and wonder what is going to happen to them. For many patients, I can offer encouragement. They got their mammogram. This was detected early. They came in early when they had a symptom that they were concerned about. The diagnosis, the diagnosis was made when there was a, a, a favorable prognosis. Not so for patients who have avoided care because they didn't have access to care, didn't have money. Patients who missed having a mammogram for five years or 10 years because they didn't have the funds to get it. Patients who didn't come in when they found a lump in their breast because they didn't have money, didn't know how they were going to pay for a mammogram or for treatment, and let, let this go for months and months before they finally came in and were diagnosed. It is, th it is these patients for whom it is so difficult to offer any kind of hope. And the emotional impact of what has happened to them is compounded by their own sense of guilt for having not acted sooner. Now, uh, this may seem like a grim kind of story, but what I want to say is that we have the ability through expanding access to health care and by expanding access to Medicaid, we have the ability to give people a gift. We have the ability to give a mother a gift of seeing her now five-year-old graduate from college. We have the ability to give, to give a child the opportunity to have their mother sitting at their wedding proudly, watching them get married in 20 years. We need to let go of what we are currently calling political existential crises in the, the political debate that we're having right now and think about the true crisis that occurs for people whose lives are on the line. I'd like to make two additional small, po important but brief points. One of them is that we really need to make it easier for providers to provide care to Medicaid patients. The administrative red tape sometimes is almost ludicrous. Um, and, and we, we need to make it easier for them to be able to provide this care. We also need to direct the funding toward the patients and their providers and avoid care models which, are, which extract money for profit and take it away from the providers and their patients. Thank you.